Stanford University. In researching French literature of the 17th century, we found many parallels between communication methods and this new explosion of social media today. In the small confines of Paris at the time, thousands of letters would crisscross daily. And this was an explosion. This was something very new. If we want to look at Twitter today, its echo back in the 17th century would be something called a billet, which was this little piece of paper on which people would write just short little messages, but they were often used to defame people or to let people know that something was going to be happening. This is an example of early journalism. It dates from 1673. It's called the Mercure Hollande. Somebody at court would hire a personal journalist to bring news back from Paris to the court. This would be kind of like today where somebody follows a particular person on Twitter or follows someone's blog. Like today, where we've seen Twitter and other social media help move along the Arab Spring and other revolutions, during the 17th century, that took the shape of pamphlets that also got around censors. There's a need to keep people informed of what's going on, just as I think is an impulse today with Facebook. I think along with new social space comes the need to communicate more. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.